Hey, what's up fam? Ready for some more bait finesse saltwater fishing? I am heading right back to the surf this time and uh, I'm pretty much using the same things as last time. If you haven't watched that video yet, you guys can check it out in the description below. But bait finesse fishing using the Casking Zephyr BFS reel and I am pairing it up with the Shimano Majestic BFS rod. This is a light tackle rod leaning closer to the medium light side but still light. So it's a light plus. I'm throwing um, a 3 16th ounce jig head with a 3 inch Berkeley Gulp Minnow. The primary target for today is flounder, summer flounder that is. So let's get to it. Step one of the test. Walk far, especially away from where you parked. Cast the 15 minutes, no bites. See a lot of people. Started to hike and um, yeah, I'm testing the audio with my new little mic cover thing. It's styrofoam, covers my entire GoPro. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Hike, hike, hike. Less and less people now, perfect. All right. The sun had opened up here for me, so might as well fish it. It's like giving me a spotlight, telling me that this is the spot right here. That's right. Oh yeah. Look at that beautiful guy. First flood goes to me after half an hour. About time. They're coming in right now. Coming in. All right. And yeah, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. When the time changed? Uh, 9.30. 30, yeah, after 9.30. Okay. Really? Okay, cool. So, can't wait. Too much water. Too fast, it's too strong, right? No, it's too water. It's too low, 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 low water. Like low water? Yeah. Okay. That guy said that fluke likes the low water, low tide. That means Will I be extending my trip another six hours? I don't know, man. Fourth of July. Now, I do have enough batteries to last that long. I've got a nice SD card ready for Florida trip. Going to ICAST. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Not a keeper size. All right, this is why you're gonna have some uh, thicker line. Ooh, 16 and a half. Short. Short, half inch. All right. Nice fish, though, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. There you go. Back there you go. Woot woot. Another one. Whoa, back to back. Back to back, they're very close. Okay. Okay. All right, this one is not a small one, but they're starting to bite. Look at that. Floundering. Hold up. I want to do a photo here. All right, second one. Eat. All right, so it doesn't seem like they're too far away now. And uh, yeah, they're picking up. 
Just for records, it's uh, 7.51. I caught two fish around 7.45. And high tide here is supposed to be estimated around 9.28. So yeah, definitely started picking up. I got here, you know, 6.30, had one nip and that was it. And finally, like finally right now, got my first two fish. So yeah, I think uh, the guy that came by and said, you know, no time to bet. I don't know. That was a bite. Huh. Yo, that got my balls. Here we go. Another rat. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Small guy, as you see. Off he goes. Off he goes. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Right at the very end. Oh, it's a good one. Whoa. Yes! And it's a short. Likely. Not even close. 14 and a half. Alright. Yeet! Whoa! Look at that. He's right there. Shot. Oh yeah. Am I recording? Oh yeah, got one. There you go. It's on a chatterbait. And the short, I believe. Or maybe not. Might be a keeper. Oh yeah! Hey, hey, look at that. Frowning. What a frowner. Alright. Chill, chill. Alright, I got you. Look at that. Hey, give me my bait back. Woo! Look at that. Cool guy, eh? Alright, he's likely a short, so I'm measure it and throw it back if I need to. All right, that was a quick short trip. I actually ended the whole trip around uh, 1040 something, I believe, because um, I looked at the sky, uh, I saw some dark clouds, I heard rumbling, and I pretty much bolted back to my car, drove home, and this is what happened right after I got home. Dang, pretty darn crazy. Barely can see that tree over there. Oh, here's the storm, shoulda lose. Uh, the storm chased me home and uh, yeah, it wasn't great. But yeah, I was glad I was able to catch a couple of summer flounder and uh, I actually got bitten off by a couple bluefish as well, which I didn't portray because I didn't feel like, uh, you know, something we could portray. It's uh, boring to get bitten off and uh, not show anything, right? But anyway, super duper fun. I think uh, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable fishing the surf now. I learned a lot. I spoke to some folks. I watched people doing some insane stuff. Like some guy was uh, walking down, up and down the shore and uh, he was using a float and mummy chugs or you know the mud minnows and stuff like that and uh, he was catching he was the only guy that caught the, uh, uh, two keepers and um, yeah all I had was a short little summer flounder unfortunately anyway that's why I slapped a short clip one clip from one of my trips in the past and yeah I caught the flounder using a chatterbait the willow 
blade shadow bait and um yeah it was interesting i think i'll use that a little bit more but uh i don't think it's made for salt because uh after one trip the blade actually rusted anyway the next video i'll try fishing the back base using my kayak using bait finesse using different size lures and hopefully we catch a different bunch of species because i'm a multi-species angler you guys are interested stay tuned the fish don't wait thank you for watching until next time go catch some fish at the surf all right get them